Live from Vermont. This is Battery Day Night. Well, it's fucking live from Battery Night. Vlog is ended. It's live from Vermont. Battery Saturday Night. Live from Vermont. It's Battery Night. Woo! Live from Vermont. Battery Night. <laughs> This song is called Souls. I know I don't have an audience yet, but I just gotta do a sound check and all that. So, hey, passerbyers, how's it going? Welcome to uh, Saturday Night Live on a Sunday. You know what I'm saying?
If you're looking for pizza this good, head on down to Weatherby's Quick Stop in Richford, Vermont. That shit is tight. Yeah, come on, Johnny Johnson, with a fishing pole. He just coming down now to enjoy the show. Way down on this food town. Way down on this food town, where nobody goes. chimpanzee <laughs> way down in Richford town way down in Richford town way down in Richford town you know that's where it all goes down in Richford town Johnny. Just made that up off the top of my head, everybody.
got to put up a thing over okay here i'll yeah. put you on the show yeah, this weekend yeah. you can check it out Frenchman. so this canadian biker was driving by and he gave me a ten dollar tip yeah straight up he gave me a tip hey you guys want to hear a song i won't make you pay me a tip what's up yo we're doing a free concert over here in richford you don't get nothing for free these days you know what i'm saying uh you can find me on youtube just check that out right there yeah this sign right here says Battery Night Live. You guys know what YouTube is. Uh, go look it up. While you're up there. Yep. What's up? Chuck's Had plenty of shit, so just fuck it. Fuck it. Chuck, come here. Chuck, sit. Chuck, sit. Chuck, sit. Chuck, lay down. Lay down. This one wants to sit on my lap. Johnny knows 
sells a lot of crackers. That's why the crack is free. That's what this motherfucker just told me. I'm just sitting back trying to have a little show. Little did this cow know, cause I didn't kill him so. We ain't singing about Richford no more. I already did a song about Richford and then Enosburg called and they said they wanted one about them too. And I said, hey, that's where we And Chuck is the uh, brown dog. Hey, we got Nora. We got Nora. And Nora's over here being a good girl. Listen. Oh, Chuck, you going hey, to you hey, get him there. Hey, do you want to see the dog pissing? Buddha. Brother, tell me. Tell I love you. Guy. I love you. And without friends in life, you'll never have nothing. You'll always lose. 
And if you can keep it coming with the best of friends, you nothing. You hear me? Yeah. No joke, brother. Hey. The dogs. Hey, look at this cameraman. Look at this. Get a shot of I... yourself. Turn it on no, yourself. No, 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 no. Oh. Are you sure? Yeah, get a shot no. of you. Don't touch my camera. You're being a camera guy. Okay. Yeah, I got to be in picture with Buddha. All right. Okay. If we're live. We're not live. We're recording. We are animals. We are animals. And I'll prove it. I'll prove it. We're going to tonight. Can I sing one, Joe? Yeah. One. one I guess I should sing another song. Rebosh is broken, she's in great manipulation. At large, we all break out for one big consultation. That's a way. It's okay, it's not like it matters to me. First strike and now it's like you need some medication. It doesn't hurt you, but it hurts your reputation. That's a way you're always gonna want me.
Oh, all right. And we got some back there in the um in the I see some sitting over there in the one of those seats. They must have paid good prices for those seats. You know the yeah. How's it going? People across the street. We're doing a free concert over here. You all come over and hang out. Sing a song for the people across the street. Sing a song for them? Okay. All right. This one's called Imagination. Well, son of a bitch, I think we need a horse over here, don't we? Plenty of horses in, in this town. Horse, horses. Yeah, yeah. Canadian slime. a classic reptile.
The drummer that came like over once. No, I used to have this drummer once, okay? The first people that Eric brought over, the guy down there. Huh? I think his ass needed some deodorant, dude. It was bad. There's some stuff that goes around too, you know? What's up, puppy? What's your dog's name again? I know you told me once before. Nora. Nora. She's a beautiful little girl. Nora. Come on, come on, hey, hey, come over, Dad, come over, Dad. Do one more time, but like then I was done with it because. Fuck her one more time. You always got to, you know, give her one more fiddle faddle. I like that. I like that. Just give her one more fi fucking faddle. Give one more faddle. Ooh, she's so, he's so funny. Come on. So the fiddle. Ding. Somebody's dinging. Is Max recording me? Hey Max, your camera guy tonight? What do you think of that? You recording daddy for the show? Yeah. Yeah. Cool dude, I like that. Gives you a job to do and you like it, huh? Where's Mitchell at? Is he with stage names I take it? Because I don't see either of those two. That must be the case. I, I would think so. So here's the last song of the night for the free concert, and uh, Buddha just killed it like all day kind of thing. I was just out here playing all day. This is the last song, and then I gotta move my stuff. Hopefully, some of these people hanging around, anybody wanna help me move my stuff back? Yeah, yeah, that would be dope. Yeah, awesome. So I'm gonna give it my all on this song. Or at least half of, half of, half of a half. I'm gonna close the one
There we go, we got that on video. My son recorded that right there. Somewhere over the rainbow. Oh, hello. <laughs>
right. Next song is Can't Help Falling in Love. next song is I Think You're Really Cool. This one's by Garden. Just tune in the old ukulele real quick. Sunrise and I'm on my feet like it's 
really cool like Buddha. Yeah. Good night. Uh, oh, next is cartoons. My bad. Ha. <laughs> Saber tigers, snakes and spiders Plus the type to splice the neighbor's cable wires Fatal vipers, danger comes in all shapes and sizes Poisonous and venomous, but they're not all your nemesis Stress will keep a friendship with Pink flamingos, dingoes, king cobras, mosquitoes, zebras, beetles Every single thing that mingles Up under the animal kingdom I'm a fan of your phylum class and fam From the mammals to amphibians I'm feeling like a kid again The Sin City simian citizen Skin shimmering from pissing in the wind again Grinning monkey with a skunky nugga, something funky. And what's the problem with piranhas, man? They just hungry. I'm underwater strumming on piano keys with manatee. Or swinging through the breeze with chimpanzees in the banana tree. I'm down with hippopotamus, foxes, and rhinoceros. A hip-hop head so underground, it's buried like an ostrich. Is. It's obvious. I juggle microphones with eight hands like an octopus. And bubble write my poems with spray cans. Plus a croc and us can come out no matter the time. If you've got reptile brain on top of jellyfish spine. I got the porcupine designed to fence mech when I rhyme. And all the scorpion cavorkians be stepping in line. But if they trying to put a hurt on me, a service free sturgeon for a surgeon and a sea urchin nurse can do emergency surgery. Still my teddy bear is steady scared. Cause nowadays I swear there's deadly poachers everywhere. They snaring up the elephants and all they next to kin. Killing leopards for they speckled skin. Dried and stretched it thin. And all the way to Canada to snag a moose is Antlers. It's cannons for the gooses and cannons for the ganders. I'm calling here a truce from Uganda to Atlanta. So the next time you want to shoot a panda, use a camera. I'm the damn cat's pajamas. The killer bee's knees. You can ask the lady man if she'd be praying to me. But now I gotta say peace to all these earth's creatures. I've been rhyming at the speed of a cheetah. I need a breather rope. Animals, man. We all 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 animals,
Dino, mate. I know you're at work, but do you think you could come over to mine and give me a hand with something, please, mate? Oh, brilliant. All right, then. I'll see you in a bit. Thank you, mate. Oh, hello, Kirk. Is it okay if I pop out for a little moment? Is it George? He wants me to go and help him with something, okay? What's the damn fool up to now, man? Okay, Gino, you can go, but I want you back here pronto, man. No slacking. Oh, George, what on earth are you up to? What's that contraption in my garden? I hope you ain't up to mischief again. I'm going out to meet Wayne, Barbara and the kids for a day out with Queen Sylvie and Smooth Tim. Are you coming? I'm not up to mischief, Mildred. And anyway, if this works, it's going to save us a lot of time and money. Trust me. And no, I'm not coming. I've got Gino coming over to help me. But you have a nice time, love, all right? So what's the plan today, my queen? I've invited Mildred and her family over for a day out. So we can get to meet the rest of the popcorn family. I can't wait. Oh, hello there, Judge. What is it you need my help with? Oh, what is this in your garden? Hello, Gino. Thanks for coming, mate. Well... This, if it works, is going to be a magnificent invention. It's a teleporter. It can teleport you anywhere in town. So go on, hop in, let's give it a try. Um, George, are you sure about this? It does, uh, it doesn't look too safe to me. Am I going to be okay? You'll be fine, Gino. Stop worrying. Nothing's going to go wrong, all right? Come on, hop in, let's give it a go. Um, George, I'm not too sure about this. I is feeling a little bit scared, no? Gino, you'll be fine. And anyway, it's a bit too late now. Here we go. Oh my god, it actually worked. I've done it, I've done it. Right, now I've just got to figure out how to bring him back. Oh, thank you, Queen Sylvie and Smooth Tim, for inviting us on this day out. So, this is my family. This is my son Wayne and his lovely wife Barbara. Then you've got the twins Sam and Sandra. Then in the poop buggy there, baby Cinnamon. And then the boys over there, Andrew and Alan. And that's my family. You're welcome, Mildred. And it's lovely to meet you all. Wait, isn't there someone missing? Oh yeah, George. What's he up to? Knowing me dad's smooth, he's probably up to no good. Right, Mum? Oh, don't get me started on your father, Wayne. When I left the house this morning, he was in the garden with some awful contraption tinkering about. God knows what he's up to. Just hope me house is still in one piece when I get home. Here comes our ride. Who's excited? I am. <laughs> Not you, smooth. I was talking to the kids. Right. Now time to bring him back. This is amazing if this works. Oh, all right there, Kirk, mate. What can I do for you? You there, George, man. I was just looking for Gino. He said he was coming to help you with something. Have you seen him, man? Well, as it happens, Kirk, you're just in time. I'm just about to bring him back. Oh, something seems to have gone wrong here. Gino? Gino, is that you? George, you damn fool. What's going on? That obviously ain't Gino, man. Is this some kind of joke? What you done with Gino? Hello? Uh, George? Hello? Uh, Gino, a little bit scared now. A monkey has stolen my clothes and I want to come home. Gino, don't like this. George? Hello? <laughs> Let me know that you need me 
There's a truth in your eyes saying you'll never leave me. From the touch of your hand says you'll catch me wherever I go. program is a paid advertisement for the flying lures. Hey, just got a message here from some number I don't know. They said they have our tax money. Someone said that? Yeah, do you know who that is? I don't know how to read. Well, we gotta figure out a way to get that money back though. Do you know who to call? I know who to call. First of all, thank you for the business, guys. I am happy to help you. So what, uh, you guys need anything? You guys need any, um, I got some little Debbies the other day. You good? You good? No, 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 no. Okay. Uh, so tell me, uh, what, what happened? You want the truth? I can't tell you the truth. Well, then you can get out of my house, then. Well, we're here because somebody stole our taxes. Is there anyone that you think would want to do that to you guys? Um, guy I worked with, you know, we were in some shady business together. We were selling window blinds. Other than that, I can't think of anyone else that would want to do that to us. So Ryan, how do you know John? I just met him at the grocery store. And we were just gazing at the steaks. And then he went, mmm, and I said, I know, right? That's good. And we, we started talking about steaks. And then um, one thing led to another, and here we are. OK. Sounds like a good time. So after that moment, when did you guys start living together? I don't know, pretty much right away. He's like, where are you going? I said, I want to live with you. And he said, OK. Do you think he would steal both your guys' taxes? He stole his own taxes, then he would get himself and thrown in jail. And I, I don't think he'd be dumb to steal his own taxes. I think he would. How's that? Very quiet, very cerebral. The way he, he goes about his day. I saw him lose it, one, his, his temper one night. I actually have 17 locks on my door. He put padlocks on his door? What's the deal with that? I was in, on, in the living room watching TV, and the news person said there was a fire. And so I just went up, grabbed Ryan, and I took him on the yard lawn. I was just trying to protect him from the fire. It just wasn't in our house, I thought it was. He's just a very odd, odd man. Other than that nice guy, no, I actually don't think he would take it. Did I take it? I don't know. That's what I'm asking you, man. Can I get my free phone call now, please? I need to call my lawyer. Who's your lawyer? John. You have the right to remain silent. Whatever you say, Ken, will be hmm. the Well, they definitely didn't Objection, do it, OK? Um, so who would be diabolical enough to steal the taxes from these two poor boys? The prosecution rests. Ooh, I know a guy. I think the jury should take a recess. That's right. Hold that thought, guys. I got someone for you to meet. Hey, John and Ryan. Listen, this is David Wayne. I heard from a bird in a tree, it wasn't actually from a bird in a tree, it's from Frank Franklin, that you both got your taxes stolen. That is, if I can excuse my French, fucked up. It was not me. Please believe me, it, I did not steal your taxes. But if I did, this is what I would do with the money. If I did, but I didn't steal the taxes. Pina Colada. 
what did I do? I didn't take your taxes, but now I'm through telling you what I would have done. Man, don't mash. Yeah, oh yeah. Smoke. <laughs> Damn it. It's 11 30. Naturally, we are packed. Hmm, that is odd. Let me see the sign. Closed for the holiday. Well, it's closed for the holiday, man. Damn it. Smoke.
Oh my god, you fucking piece of shit. I wanna fucking squeeze your head till the fucking cream comes out of your fucking eyes, you fucking motherfucker. Fuck you! Oh, damn, dude. I didn't mean to make you start crying, dude. I, I, I was upset. I'm sorry. It was. Uh, sometimes I get out of control. Right. the box. Love it! Love it! Wake up! I need ya! Love it! For fuck's sake! I've shot myself! Again! Come on, Lovey! There's a one! Oh! That fucker's breached the dam, Lovey! Oh no! It's trickling down my legs! Oh, I knew there was something wrong with that koala barge last night! Fucking FCK! <laughs> Oh, come on, lovey. The geezer is bubbling hot again. I can't hold it in for much longer. She's gonna blow. Oh, fuck it. This is an emergency. Welcome to the Crichton Corporation. Your call is important to us, Mr. Battersby. Please state the nature of your emergency. I've shat my pants. You said... My cat likes to dance. Is that correct? No, I've shat my pants and my bastard care bot won't come on. Putting you through to an operator. Fucking robots. Good morning, Miss Bearsby. I'm... <laughs> May I call you Tony? No, no, you bloody me not. Oh, uh, OK. How, how can I help you today? Oh, I got one of your care bots and it's not responding. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Mr Bearsby. Have you tried a hard reset? No, I can't move. My bowels are all mangled and it feels like a submarine's gonna come out of my ass. I'm gonna need an ambulance. Oh, that sounds terrible. Have you tried connecting the care box to a power source? Do you think I'm daft? Of course I plugged it fucking in. Well, uh, I mean, I couldn't find the right charger. Just last night and everything. Oh, Mr. Batsby, using an authorised charger may result in damage to your care box and could void your warranty. You should have plugged that immediately. Really? I just used the lead off the kettle. Oh, Mr. Batsby, kettle leads can overload a care box with a dangerous amount of electricity. Please do not panic. I'm sending a fire engine and ambulance to your address immediately. Fire engine? Fuck! Are you okay, Mr. Batsby? Mr. Batsby? Mr. Batsby? Mr. Batsby? Are you still there? Mr. Batsby? Are you still there? Bloody robots! I think we got a fucking concert going on over here or something. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah, is there a free fucking concert? It is a free concert. Yeah, I think these bitches know where it's, it's at. Fucking battery, Look at that wheelie dude. Oh, 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 oh. Aren't just quite right. Because one's just a little bit off centered from the other one. It kind of looks like she's got a third chin. But there isn't even a one on the left. So it's like a, a right in the middle. It's a right in the middle, dude. That's not fucking right. Oh, I saw her at the methadone clinic when she was picking up her Oh no! I wish it wasn't true. Oh no! She signed her name on my back. Hey. Until the cops come, then we'll clear out like squirrels. <laughs> Man. 
no worries. They ain't got to come until 10 o'clock. They're not going to waste your taxpayer dollar. They're probably already calling on us right now. Like, oh my God, these guys are being really loud outside. And they're going to be like, listen, this is fucking America, you pricks. Freedom. Until 10 o'clock, and then we're fucking enslaved to our apartments. So fuck off. Because we're having a party in Richmond. And thinking about fucking their cousins because this is Richmond. Ain't nobody cool in Richmond now because I said it on TV and you all see that there ain't nothing here to be. So I'll be leaving soon when the cops come. Yeah, when the cops come, when the cops come, this party is done. But it ain't happening till 10 p.m. fucking come. Don't waste your time. You can call. You can call. You can fucking call every time you want. But they're just going to tell you, hey, taxpayer dollars means we can do what we want. You can try it. You can try to shut us down. You can try all you fucking want. You can even try to fucking put a dildo in your ass because this is America. And if you got the lube or the spit, you can get it in there. Trust me. Gonna party in Richmond. Gonna party in Richmond. Even though we didn't put up the flyers, we're gonna stay until we get even higher. We're gonna party tonight till the cops fucking come at ten. Oh, Yo. We got a timer on our phone to let us know when 10 o'clock is. Alright, you're This song is called Bitches. Alright, come on. I don't wanna wake up, I don't wanna go to work today. I just wanna stay home and drink my life away. But if I don't go, Just make it so hard to get some. I just want. 
like Chuck Norris Or someone like that I just wanna run away Chuck Norris, guys. Give it up to the fucking legend. Come on. Bow down. <laughs> Definitely. Chuck Norris, right? Smoke a bong for the show, because we've been recording for our show. Yeah, that's what we're doing right now. Smoke it. We love that shit. Look at this guy with his big dick energy in that nice car. That's bigger dick energy than these guys got, because they're just red. Yeah. Yeah, man. Woo! Oh, my God, dude. I just felt like all 12 inches of that, man. Fuck. <laughs> That was bigger than a fucking can of twisted tea. Ow! Holy shit, guys. Was that an episode of Battery Night Live or what? Where's my gear? Hey, Buddha's not accessorized and I don't like it. Where's my shit? We played a gig and no, my shit, man. Accessorized. Yeah, she knows what I'm talking about. I said accessories, not a fucking instrument. Damn it, State Sands. Those ain't mine. What? No, they're not. Well, where, where's the hat? You're lying. Okay, uh, just one second. There we go. We had to stop that scene switcher from happening. Um, my crew is looking for my sexiness right now because I lost it. Here's one of them. Okay, we're getting there. Where is it? Where is it? I can't see shit right now. It's not in the hallway, guys. It's like right here. I brought it all the way in here. <coughs> Stage vans and your stupid fucking blankets and shit probably on top of it or something. It's right in here somewhere. It's over there. God damn it. Well, how's everybody doing tonight, eh? Hey, the comment thread is pretty empty. Did you guys know that you can leave comments and it'll come up right here? Uh, wow, that finger thing is hard to figure out. Yeah, it'll come up like that. Look at me go. Look at me go. Yeah, I can figure it out. Someone write a comment if you're watching. And if not, then don't. If you're not watching, don't write a comment. Yeah. Well, God damn it, everybody. I know it was over there. Blame it, stage fans. It's whatever. I'm moving on. Moving on. It's uh, stage Zan's fault. Because he sleeps in the studio. He's a... Uh, He's guardian of the student. You don't want to be guardian. No, the like, I. S you don't want to go there. Just you're not guardian. Just don't. Where's? Where's my guitar volume? Barely there. You did plug it into Buddha's guitar, right? Well, then give it a little bit.
more. No, that's not it. That is not it. Yeah? Then you followed the wrong thing down. You were turning up the wrong channel then because I just heard something go up buzzing and my guitar wasn't going up. I'm going to have to walk this over there and figure it out myself, aren't I? Stop tra tracing the chord. Just It's one of those. Someone come over here and just start strumming on the fucking guitar. Oh, the entertainment. Isn't it wonderful? All my haters right now are watching and just coming at this instant. Yeah, you're going to have to turn that down a lot. Turn it down. This is good. Had some canceled guests. Unreliable people, or just the hater marathon getting to them. All the hater crews getting out there, being all like, You can't play on his show. It'll forever doom your career. Don't do that. Well, sucks to be them anyway. Yeah. 
the one viewer probably has an obsession with the number 23 too. They're just waiting to hear it out of my mouth. They're just all like, yeah, oh my God, this episode drew me right to myself. Yo, what's happening? Thanks for checking out the show. I'm going to try to play stuff that I haven't really played. But this song is off my first album. It's just a little bit kind of... All right, all right. No more boring songs. Sorry about that one. Had to play it eventually. I mean, it's it's off the first album, you know. So, what's up, everybody? All the viewers out there, or all the future viewers, potential future viewers out there. Yeah, it's always a crowd in my mind. You know, you're hanging out with the best. Yeah, 60,000 people out there. <sighs> Got their lighters going. Someone give me a lighter. Nope, no lighters going. But, um, oh. We dropped it. Okay, got their lighters going. 60,000 fans. The crowd's going wild. Bring up your lighters. Hey, what's happening? Studio audience. We're just hanging out here and listening to music. I'm not listening to music. Actually, I'm playing the music 
if, if that's not obvious. More stuff that Buddha hasn't played yet on the, um, I haven't sang this one in a while, but I can pull up my lyrics and then I won't fuck it up. This one is off the second album. It's called Entitled, Entitled, E-N, Titled. End titled. Okay, wait, where is it? I should do a search. Hold on. Hold on. Let me search through my notes. Ooh, there it is. Okay. Wow, 2020. Ooh, this has been a while. Buddha's going to try not to fail his own song here tonight because it's been a while since I played this one, but it's I think it's an okay song anyway. I'll figure it out. This one goes out to Johnny Depp. There we go. Uh, winning his Amber Heard trial, you know what I'm saying? This one goes out to you, Johnny. Thank you, guitar pick. Oh, my God. Uh, someday you'll learn to forget me. The lessons I taught you will live on. And when it comes to time, we'll never tell. Because you can't leave an impact on a broken shell.
I got the remedy. It's all good. Woo. Fuck. I know how to pick them, don't I? Yeah. Um. Battery Night Live, though, you know. Oh, one of those? I probably should, huh? Oh, I feel the remedy from the tea already. They should make um a a lemon, a twisted twisted tea lemon and honey. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, ah, oh, shit. Now you got to drink. I uh, somebody told me that I say the words "you know what I'm saying" too much. And I've become self-aware. Oh, I've become self-aware now. Now that I'm self-aware about it, I'm going to make it into like, every time I say it, I'm going to say, now you got to drink or smoke or whatever you're doing out there. Or if you're sober, then get sober harder. Get sober a little harder. That much harder. Okay. Okay. More songs that I haven't played off my albums. That's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to try to. This is hard because usually I practice these kind of things and I'm I'm not doing that tonight. I don't know if I can do that one. Let me do this one. Okay. This one's a drinking song anyway. So somebody off screen can get me a shotgun ready and when I'm done the song, by the time I'm done the song anyway, because it's like a three minute song, so don't worry about it. But um I was trying to remember the name of the song. It's the Nashville drinking song. I wrote the song down in Nashville with a friend of mine, Ron Sutton. And, uh, okay, so here it goes. Stumbling through the barroom, looking for a stool. Think about Angelina, Mary Taylor, or Bobby Sue. Yeah. 
beer about an hour to go. So he's crawling back to me. And if my old lady's looking for me more, I'll be slowly crawling back to wherever I Oh, shit. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Yeah, I did write that song down in Nashville uh, a long time ago. Um, I once had a capo, don't know where it went though, I stuck it on my mic stand, then it disappeared man, can't find where it went, all that money spent, light up a lighter, get a little higher, I think we need to, hold on. Where'd the purple one go? I think it dropped on the floor somewhere over here. Stay Jans, find my purple one. Never mind, I found it. I picked it up. What'd you just fucking say? Yo, you see you hear what this motherfucker just said about me over here? This motherfucker right there. No, not you. That that one over there. Yeah, that one. Who's sitting with you? Yeah, tell them to fuck off. Just smack them. I'm talking to the, yeah, not you guys. I'm talking to them, to the camera, to the audience in the camera. It's like thousands of them in there, in my imagination, anyway. We got one viewer. It's all good. I multiply it times one thousand, because if you, if you multiply things times a thousand, you always perform better. So, multiply your performance times one thousand, and then you'll you'll have one thousand. Because if you're performing with just one, like me. <coughs> Buddha used to have a band. Remember? I fired them that one episode. And now they go around talking shit about me because they hate me. Yeah. It's, they play up there now by themselves. Sucks to be them. It's yummy. Should bat sack go to TikTok? I did make a TikTok, but I don't know what to do with it yet. You have to get a thousand people. Okay. <laughs> That's a little bit of the Jim Carrey coming out. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know what to play because I played all those ones on the fucking other parts of the song. And the show. And the thing. And the, and the thing. I'm not doing covers because people fucking... Fuck those people, I guess. I don't know. I got I guess I got a cover song then. I'm gonna play a cover because you know what? Fuck the haters. All them haters, they can fuck off. They can sit on this. Probably only take it halfway because they're haters. You know, little bitches. Um, so I'm gonna play a sublime song. Got your hair perm, 
you got your red dress on Screaming outside and giving such a turn on And the fall falling on my window tells me that the morning's here And you'll be gone before too long Who taught you them new tricks? Damn, I shouldn't stop that talk But life is one big question when you're staring at the clock And the answer's always waiting at the liquor store for idiot Sister Freedom, so I take that walk Got a little tongue tied there Ooh, I'm not going back No That was just some, some fucking sublime in your faces. Yeah, yeah. Rest in peace, Bradley. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck it, I'll play some covers because I can. That's why I play covers on my show. All them haters are like, oh, Buddha, you ain't got original because you want to play a cover. <laughs> fuck them hot shot stupid fucks. I don't give a fuck. The whole state of Arizona is going to be owned by Buddha one day. That's right. That's right. I'm going to call it New Vermont. Yeah. New Vermont. Ha. <laughs> evil laugh. Insert evil laugh here. <laughs> So YouTube ain't getting the stream tonight for some reason, but um, we'll re we'll re-upload it. Don't worry. I blame I blame the same motherfucker I was just picking on. We should make you. We should get on the wig and tell him. Like, you know what I mean? Fuck your damn show. Uh, oh, man, that goddamn hot shot stupid fuck interrupted my show again. First, first he takes off, off our fucking other show, episode 22. You're all thinking that we skipped the number here, and I'm like, no, no, it's going to be back. Because he, he took down one of our shows. He claimed copyright because we parodied his show. We made like a Family Guy style parody of it. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, "Oh, you used my song in reverse. I'm going to I'm going to sue you now." I'm like, "Okay, take me to court. Don't you know anything about uh fair use rights in America?" Apparently not. We only used we only used 9 seconds of his clip and then fucking reused, you know what I mean? So, but it gave me everything I needed to know about uh, Michael fucking Corcano or whatever the fuck his last name is. He really is some old dude just wearing a wig. He's creepy as fuck. <sighs> probably, 
probably break his bones if I wrestled with him. And I was just trying to be friendly and be like, let's wrestle, bro. Let's like, I'll give you an ounce of weed if you beat me mysteriously with the help of fucking six people because you're a little wimp. Hey, hot shot, super fuck. Don't you wish you had Buddha's luck? Don't you wish that you could give a fuck like me? But you only talk about your weed and I smoke weed too, but I don't mean to do it all the time. Okay, maybe all the time, but I don't need to talk about it all the time, you freak. That's all I talk about on my show, guys. I can't talk about something serious like the fucking school shootings that have been going on in this country since fucking 1999 at least that we can remember. Except there's been going on since the 70s, but they don't like to talk about that. But you can find it on Wikipedia if you do your research. I ain't talking about gun rights. I don't care about that. I could have as many as I want. I ain't talking about left or right. I don't care about that. You can choose whichever side you like. But when it comes to treating people like they're not another person, don't you know? They reflect on that. You can make a monster out of a hero. You can make a zero too. If you only give what they need. You can only give what they need. time it was pretty crazy crazy time I shouldn't talk about it hey guys it's dad you caught me in the freestyle dad I was just talking about that whole fucking hot shot stupid fuck Lily says hi over there You know how I can freaking bounce around on the issues as they whatever. I'm just freestyling and doing whatever and keeping you guys entertained with this little riff. It's become so accustomed that my fingers can just make it without even the slightest bit of effort. Anyway, I was talking about something pretty serious there. It's just about the way that we treat people, I guess. Because, no, you know, that lesson that we learned in kindergarten, you know, treat others as you would yourself, it applies still today, even as an adult, you know. So, don't create monsters in this world. Try to create, you know, people that you want your kids around, you know. And by doing that, you have to freaking treat them like that and make them feel accepted and whatever demons are fighting them, you can fight them too because you're just as strong, you know? Because it's the community that we fucking live in. You can hide in your fucking houses, you can hide in your rooms, whatever. You think that you're, we're all a part of this world and there's nothing gonna change that. No amount of walls is ever gonna take you off this earth, you understand? Do you understand? I'm only speaking words. Do you understand? 
understand? And do you understand? I'm only speaking words. Do you understand? Do you, do you, do you understand? Do you, do you, do you understand? Channel the visions of this land. The natives that came before us had a vision of freedom before the man burned it down. Killed their brothers, raped their sisters, stole it, stole their crown. Don't be afraid to talk about it, it's true, you know. If you just listen to that, it's that's the truth. That's our history. That's what this country is found on. It was already a thing. And they took it. Let's let's open up this discussion. Who's in here? Like, who's watching? Give me a comment to go off of. I'll make a song about it right now. I'm feeling creative because I'm high as fuck. I just I just did that whole spiel. That wasn't even a song. I just came up with it for you. Jam, Buddha style jam, Buddha style jam, Buddha style jam. Yo 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 yo. We gonna bring it now. We in Battery Night Live. I got an audience over here. They're zoned out on some game. What are you zoned out on? This guy's over here on a game right now. It's like Pokemon Go, but it's not Pokemon Go, and I'm still into Pokemon Go, so, you know. If it was Pokemon Go, I'd be like, oh, well, I guess the live stream's over. Let's go fucking do some Pokemon Go. Wow. Well, just kidding. I wouldn't leave our live stream. They're waiting for something important to happen. They're tuning in, trying to reveal the future, Simpson style. I predicted the Super Bowl on this show. Did a lot of crazy things. Buddha doesn't mean to make predictions. Life does it to me. So watch the show and figure it out yourself. And be like, what? I need to be a part of this. That's why I'm so freaked out. About a month ago, I'm listening to side conversations now. Ego Studio audience, take it from the rocket ship to take a hit. Oh, you're not the studio audience. I mean, internet audience. I'm fucked up. Hey, somebody feed me another beer. I'm too fucked up. Did that make sense? Good. I meant it. Gracias, my friend. No, you're doing it wrong. Let Buddha teach. Look, so here's, I'm going to teach everybody. You see this thing right here? You're just going to follow it right down. Nice and straight line. You see that? Those are painter hands, okay? But they can come in handy with other nifty things. <laughs> yeah, good. You just poke a little hole to release the twisted fart. You can't hear it. Oh, I shook it up. Anyway, release that little twisted fart in there. And then you're going to want to make a nice curvature like that on one side. Oops. I'm sorry. I'm trying to show the camera. And I just, I only spilled a couple drops. Don't worry. If you tune into this show, you know Buddha can shotgun a drink. And the reason that, I don't know. Anybody ever watched the man show back in the day? You know? You know what I'm talking about? The man show? There was that guy, that old guy that used to drink a beer like a, like a, 
just a, and then it's gone. Well, I'm just trying to be fucking entertaining and shit, man. Yo, we had a party together. We fucking partying tonight. We having a good time. We, we chilling. We just fucking watch me chug the drink. Magic. Way to go in my throat like your dick last night. All right. I should play a real song. I keep jamming. I keep jamming. I'm fucked up. What do you want me to know? Uh, our guest canceled. Lily played some songs that she knows on the ukulele. We haven't had a lot of time to learn some new stuff. It's all good. She plays piano, too. Maybe she'll do that next week. That would be awesome, huh? At least she can sing. I'm I'm up here pretending like I can sing. The fire. The fire I we already did those songs tonight on the video that you weren't paying attention to. Yeah. Stage dance calling you out on the live stream again. Fuck the fuck off. Uh, you don't think I got more songs? I was haggling. You're haggling? Haggle, haggling? Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. Okay, he ain't got a mic tonight. That's why stage ends. Hey, everybody, studio audience, wave and say hi. And there's stage ends, part of the studio audience with no mic. Yeah, no mic for stage ends tonight. He lost his mic. He lost it. He'll earn it back. He just needs to improve his head game. That sloppy sloppy, you know? <laughs> Perfect. He's getting it. Maybe we should have given him a mic tonight. He went with it. He rolled with it. God damn it. We didn't give him a mic. He was, that was good. Good, good job. Good one. We should have given you a mic. I'm sorry. Stayed Zans. <laughs> I'm sorry. It was funny, dude. You say it, it, everybody. I'm sorry, turtles. I shouldn't be standing so close to that. I should move over here. Oh yeah, I should move over here. Look, it looks up. It looks better on camera. Who turned my lights off? I need my swirly lights. My pretty colors. There we go. There's some of them. Yeah, pretty colors. It's the second one up from the bottom. Pretty colors. Oh, it's not plugged into anything? Oh, that's unfortunate. The light's on, though. I think it's just broken, then. It's all good. Fuck it. Oh, it's not unplugged into the thing. Oh... Oh, you can't do it if it's not plugged into the thing. You got to, like, put it in the hole. Wiggle it in there. It's all good. It's going to light up like a fucking pride balloon. All of our pride viewers tonight are, like, super. Oh, that's not pride at all. That's super bright. Ah, where's my glasses? I threw them. I got angry and threw my glasses. Give me the. I did not. No. Then I'll super glue it back together. Give me that wig. I at least need something. This isn't a wig. This is actually a mop because we're too cheap to buy a wig. So I guess hot shot stupid fuck one, one ups us for now until I find a place to buy wigs that aren't $800. Am I looking at the wrong place? Party City? Okay. Yeah, I've been looking in the wrong place. Don't look online for wigs. They fuck around and find out on there. They're like, yeah, you got money? You want hair? No, I ain't, I ain't spending $800 on a wig for a gag. No. I'll buy a mop and and take it off the thing. Yeah. But am I beautiful yet? Do you love me? I'm gorgeous. I can't wear it. 
It's not working. Where's my hat? Where's my bat? I need it. I need it. I want my bat. I don't know where it is. I want it. They took it from me. The ones, they came for it. If you only knew, I'm playing random chords and then saying things after it. It wasn't that entertaining. I'm sorry. You give me that dull look. You're like, oh, Buddha, reaching for the stars and grabbing ass. Awful. I keep jamming. I'm coming up with jams. Stop jamming, Buddha. This ain't a jam band. You kicked out the jammers. It's time to get serious. She's not listening. She's serious. Your audience. Serious like a fart in an elevator crowded full of people, dude. That fart is just bound to interrupt, you know? It is the one in the room. All of those people are worthless compared to that fart. Everyone's just trying to figure out who it was. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I did it again! No! Ah! I'm being controlled by the universe! You know what I'm saying? 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 You gotta drink a lot tonight, studio audience. If you've been watching along, I just fucked you up. Oh, Stage Zans has been watching along. Oh, I got fucked up. I dropped something. Okay. Is this entertaining? I hope so, because um, I'm looking at my bank account tonight and making sure I got a million dollars after this. You know? What, um... <laughs> you polluted my mind. The aliens have come and they know what I'm saying. They know what I'm saying. They all know what I'm saying. I don't fucking understand shit. yourself you're on live internet right now you understand what i'm saying do you comprend me amigo you want some fucking tortilla huh some tortilla some rice Tortillas and rice, tortillas and rice. If you only had a slice, if you had a slice of tortillas and rice. There you go, now you're all hungry. Did I fuck with everybody? Weatherbees, there you go. Wait, who's going to, wait, I already got enough drinks, never mind. Stay Zans? All right. He'll be back. Stay Zans is going. There ain't no slices of pizza at fucking this time of night. Tortillas and slice of pizza. I fucked with your mind and now you're hungry for a slice of pizza. And tortillas is what you like. You can put some cheese on it, put some tomatoes and some mozzarella and some pizza. Just a tortilla slice. I fucked with the chords. Oh. Hello there, Dad. Still watching. My dad's watching right now, everybody. I'm I'm drunk, Dad. You gotta drive me home. Wait, I am home. Ah, uh, ha, 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 ah, ah. Well, there was this one time that um. Hey, I have some CDs. Let me pick a random song off of one of them. One of them, one of them, one of them. I said one of them, 
and I meant to say one of them, but I feel like I'm just speaking slang. Yo, give me one of them, one of them things right there. One of them. Cold and distant. I did that last week. I did that last week. Give me, just give me the thing. I'm trying to find something I didn't play last week. I'm proving to my haters that I got songs like they wouldn't believe. I got songs up the ass. I played. Oh, I didn't do Shadows on the Moon. Ooh. Ooh, I need the lyrics for this one because it's been like an ass. Like, fuck. Am I even going to have this one on the second album? This is the second album, but I'm talking about the second album since I found Saki. Um, Saki is a half bat, half human god that came from another dimension. And um, he's actually holding this weird gun-like object up telling me that i can't be talking about him right now i'm gonna have to delete this part on youtube later (sighs) fuck i'm sorry saki don't show me your nuts anymore okay jesus no i get it you're not jesus i'm buddha jesus is down there in hell where he belongs that fucking judas son of a bitch i'm mixing up characters in the bible I didn't read the Bible, but I just know they're all there. Hey, you. Are you watching Battle Night Live? Well, you should check out Coffee with Todd in the morning if you're not too hungover because it's a really good show. And um, he, I don't, he doesn't really condone the smoking and stuff on his show, but he's... You know, he's a good guy. And um, grab a cup of coffee and uh, watch his show. I watch if I'm up early enough. <coughs> 9 o'clock a.m. I usually am up, but it's like, you know, I'm taking a shit or something like that. So I can't really be involved with the show. But hey, Tom, I'm like halfway through right now. And uh, it's kind of stinks in here, bro. Yeah, no. Usually, that's about where I am on the 9 o'clock schedule. But uh, sometimes I wake up a little bit early. I got that shit taken care of. You know, that shit. It's taken care of. Anyway. uh, And then I'm able to watch Coffee with Todd. And I'm like, hey, man. And he, like, he responds just like I do. If you comment on the video and it pops up right here where I can see it, um, I'm drunk, so I can't. Don't drive drunk, everybody. You see my motor skills? Got fucked up, didn't it? Uh, Because if you watch earlier, I did that perfectly. Executed, like, flawlessly. Mission secret agent style. Um, And now I'm all fucked up, and I failed at that. (laughs) Put a comment and see where I fucking put my finger. Put put a comment over here. Somebody, if you're watching, just write, write, Alan, you're fucking drunk. Don't drive. You know? Something like that. I did that once because I thought I was a regular Vermonter and I'm cool like that. Everyone in Vermont, rednecks, they they drive drunk all the time. I was at the bar and they were all leaving and I'm like, I guess I can do this too. It's all good. It's all good to you. It's all good. I got a car. I got a car. I can drive home. I only got like... 13 miles to go, I think. So I'm like, yeah, I'm doing the rap. And then it was a snowy night, and I crashed my fucking car, and I could have died, like, if an 18-wheeler or something was coming the other way or something like that. I had friends die in cars before, so, like, Buddha could not be talking here right now if that happened to me. It was the biggest eye-opener I've ever fucking had. And it's like, this voice in my hand is like, don't drive drunk or impaired actually just don't drive if you're feeling like you're not your usual self that's because i feel like it's a video game or something you know and it's like not normal it's dangerous it's like just don't do it it ain't cool you think you're cool at the time you're like oh i got this man this is nothing. And it's all cool until that one time that you fucking, you fuck up. I'm lucky it happened to me like the first time I got too fucked up and I drove drunk and I'm 
crash one of my cars. And my dad was mad because I was paying him for that car at the time. But he's all like, oh, that's so cool, man. You're my, you're my son. Um, you're alive. I'm alive. Could have died. It's all good. Happens. Um, life definitely happens. So pay attention. You know what I mean? That's one thing I want to push on my show is that pay attention, treat others good, even if they're re, uh, re rejects, I guess you could say, if they're the rejects of society, still treat them good. Um, you could prevent something bad from happening one day just by being that good person. You never know, but just try to remember that even when, th when times get tough for that weird person. Just be like, I'm here for you, okay? I know everyone else doesn't think that way right now, but they should, and listen. Trust me, it's a good thing. Like, build a community. Those weird people that you're pushing out, they need help. They need, they need you. They need their peers, man. They need, like, they're too afraid to fucking go and tell somebody that they're having thoughts of fucking shooting something up or something, you know? So they're like... Oh, what am I going to do? Nobody wants to talk to me. They think I'm a fucking freak. Well, not everybody thinks you're a freak, guys. Put it into pen. Put it into paper. Put it into thoughts and put it into music. And um, people will listen to that. That's the point. I got a lot of time to kill. That's why I'm talking right now. I'm treating this like a talk show. I'm trying to help those out there that might be injured by society. Society refuses to acknowledge the fact that it is the problem. It would rather point fingers at results of society. The people that are because of the society we live in. And that's the, that's the enemies in their eyes. They're afraid to call themselves part of what's going on. Um... And you're all fucking cowards. That's all I got to say about that. If you won't step up to somebody that you're afraid of because you think they're going to like snap on you or something, they're just as human as you are. And if they're in a place of emotional down time or whatever the fuck you want to call it, um, reach out to them. Don't be pussy fucking whatever you want to call it. This is America, land of the home of the brave. Land of the free, home of the brave, okay? That's what I'm trying to say. So don't be pussies. I shouldn't compare pussies. There's a there's a comedian that says that um, don't compare pussies to something that's weak because pussies are actually pretty strong. That's true. So don't be don't be balls. Don't be weak ass little testicles that could just get like, you know, they're so weak that even if you talk about them, they're like, oh no. Oh, I'm being talked about right now. Am I up to par? Yeah, balls are the weak thing. That's why we have fucking... Um, what's it called? Toxic masculinity? Well, there's toxic femininity, too. There's, like, abusive females out there, as I found out. And uh, we won't talk about that, but read my lyrics and shit. I've been through shit. It is what it is. Put it into paper, not into fucking violence crazy bitches put that shit on jerry springer and make money off of it don't try to hurt me yeah you dogs thank you here yeah sorry studio audience chiming in with that i'm just ranting right now because it's my show and i can do what the fuck i want with it i'll play you a song if you want but i just i get this time to myself and i get to talk to the audience about my thoughts and y'all can listen to it instead of um, reading it and putting your own voice to it and thinking, wow, this guy has a lot of hate to him. Do I really seem like I got a lot of hate to me? I just have a lot of thoughts about the world and how we can change things. Sorry, I have this, like, um, antacid, like, reflex going on. Acid reflex thing going on. I sound like, um, I sound like Rick. <laughs> like, I keep, like, mid-sentence, you know? Yeah, anyway. <clears throat> Thank you all for tuning in whenever you do.
I know it's a long show. Um, I don't care. Three hours of Zen for me. It's uh, something that one day will pay off, even when people don't understand. It's just what do we got going on here. Uh, State Zans. State Zans brought me a peach because he's a he's a peach and he knows it's my favorite flavor. We got the people on the can. There you go. You're on TV now, even though you've already been shipped across the country. The country, yo. Jolly Jolly Rancher? You sucking on a Jolly Rancher pop, yo? Cool, cool. Everybody got munchies because uh, we're all just hanging out, smoking, and fucking getting fucked up. And uh, now that I got my audience back, I know you guys are the audience too, but I got like audience over here too, you know? So I'm going to play them some music instead of chatting your ears off. They can go on and, and read that or uh, listen to that themselves, that little rant I did. But Buddha had a rant, everybody. I got it out there. I put it out. It was about some shit that happened and people are still upset about me about it. And they just don't understand Buddha because, you know, I'm pretty, I, I don't know what the word for it is. I'm not, I'm not of this earth, I guess you could say. Go for it. song last week but it hasn't been played tonight anyway so i might as well play it it's called death is a minor casualty
de Kyrène Mais Thank you, thank you. Everyone's munching out right now, it's all good. Um, yeah, that was Death is a Minor Casualty uh, off the second album. I think I just about played all the ones off the first album during the Batsack Adventures videos that you guys saw. Uh, leave me a comment, let me know what you thought of those because maybe I'll try to do some more during the summer when it's nice out, get out there and promote the show a little bit, take some videos, uh, give you some more scenery to see besides this, all this behind us here, you know, so, uh, it was a pretty interesting show so far, um, I'm looking forward to watching it back anyway, I watch all my shows back over, it's all good, uh, you gotta do that to learn how to be entertaining 24, 7, or 3 hour, 3 three by three three hours by three hours you got to be entertaining the whole time that's what i'm trying to say yeah so what time is it anyway nine nine forty i got 20 minutes to go 20 minutes god damn that's like all right what am i gonna do let me think um taking time yeah all right, all right, I'm just taking time. I don't think I did that one in the... I think the only recordings that we got were from the first album, which is perfect besides bitches. So, yeah, I can do taking time. There was a little snippet of Disappear that was in the videos earlier I saw, but, yeah, I'll, I'll sing taking time. Thank you. Um... Not sure if I have to introduce the song again, but this is one of mine called Taking Time. I'm drunk driving the world, so I'm just about to explode. I've got this feeling inside me, I just can't let you know. So would you hold it against me if I wanted to write this out? It's that I have to break when you're around. I found myself a picture stuck yeah, to myself like glue. Torment every movement pushed me far away from you. I know you won't forgive me for what I path we've gone into. I'm taking every chance I got. Yeah. 
Ah, thank you. I fucked up the ending. I'm sorry. I was trying to make it pretty full. I tried. I'm a little fucked up. Just a little fucked up. Um, shit. 16 minutes ago, that didn't take up too much time. Taking time didn't take a lot of time. It was only like four minutes. Roughly. Um, I have to try harder than that. I got some songs I haven't played on the show yet, I think. Let me think. Or I could just throw in some covers. I think I could do a cover. What's that? ooze that we did on the recording. Oh. What is it? I don't know what you're talking about. The ooze, you gotta give me more you gotta give me more than the ooze. The song with ooze in it. I'm just going to send it off with a cover tonight. Going to send her on. Run the credits after this. Call it a show. Slap another hoe right on her ass. You know what I'm saying. I did it again. I got to make sure that I got the um, OBS ready to go down there. So anyway, thank you for tuning in, Battery Night Live. I'm going to do a uh, cover by a uh, great band. It's actually um, started the show out playing a song by this band 
Um, and then something completely tragic happened to them this year. And we haven't really heard much from them since. Um, I just gotta play the song. Taylor, this one's for you, bro. Oh, 
insane. Okay, everybody stays. Um, studio audience, give us a hey. hey. Give us a ho. Oh. Give us a better than the live. See you bitches next week.